Hey guys, John here again from the Info Hut channel. Uh, today's tutorial or information video is on the uh, iPhone 6 error 53 code. Uh, you get this code uh, when you're restoring your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus uh, in iTunes and uh, halfway through the actual restore or you'll see halfway through the status bar um, it actually freezes and comes up with an error 53. Now, uh, this is a related hardware issue. So what you need to do is establish, uh, I guess, the previous history of your phone. Now, I have been told and I have not seen yet, it can be a charging cable. Uh, so all you need to do is obviously to, to rule that out, uh, remove uh, your, your charging cable and replace it with, with a different one and see if that fixes it. Uh, I've been told it could be the, the charging port. Uh, I'll just show you what I mean by the charging port. Um, it's where your uh, charging cable goes in. Once again, I've yet to see that. Now, a few people have purchased uh, phones uh, off eBay or um, or off another seller. Uh, some people haven't and they've actually, you know, replaced broken LCD screens. Now you need to establish if it's from a phone that has been replaced with an LCD screen previously. Uh, the issue, which is pretty much 99% sure, is going to be a cable that has been damaged. Now this cable attaches to your uh, fingerprint scanner or touch uh, touch ID scanner which is here the actual cable runs all the way up now I've got a screen that's already open uh, if you look in the link below to get to this part of the phone of, of disassembling I've already made another video so feel free to watch that now I'm going to show you how to replace this broken cable as you can see there's even a little on the on the back plate here there's a little uh, channel showing where this this cable actually goes what you need to do is change this cable and then connect it to your fingerprint scanner and what's most likely happened is down the bottom when the person or previous repairer was was fixing the the actual screen when they were prying it up they probably cut or just even damaged the the cable a bit which is why uh, you know you can't um, do the full restore now you have to understand that you need your original fingerprint scanner you cannot swap this around this has got a chip that talks to your motherboard okay so imagine that this chip is talking to your motherboard or logic board or the main part of your phone and this cable is the bridge talking to it so the actual bridge is damaged what we need to do is fix that so i'll show you how to disassemble and replace that cable first of all all you need to do is just remove the bottom plate here there's two phillips screws and try to use something magnetic, unlike I have. And you remove the back plate. For those that have repaired their LCD before, this is pretty easy. Uh, for those that haven't, once again, look at my LCD replacement guide and then switch over to the part where you need to replace the cable. Now, this is where a lot of people make errors. This part here, this whole section here is probably the most delicate section. If for any reason you do damage this or this cable, you are going to come across this issue. So we take this part off and we just pry it open like it's a, uh, uh, like a Lego or
as you can see. It's a bit tricky for this one just due to the fact that it's been taken off a few times. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Do not damage anything. Take your time with this. This is you know, a very, very delicate uh, piece of uh, flex cable. And as you can see, that's popped up like that. Now, we pop that up and then we remove the actual uh, the fingerprint scanner. I found the best way to do it is get a pair of tweezers and go under from here, pushing and sliding, keeping it flush and flat, and then lifting. And then what you do from the bottom is simply push your button through. And now we're getting to the part where we need to get rid of this plate. So we simply unscrew that plate. We take those six screws from the side, one, two, three, one, two, three from there. And of course this bottom one, almost forgot that one. Now, the replacement cable, I'll leave a link below. You can get them from amazon.com. Uh, they're gonna be around uh, the 10 to $20 mark at this stage. I mean, as time goes on, they're gonna get a lot cheaper. So these are, these parts are worth dollars. Ideally try to get a plate with a actual ribbon attached to it. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna see how easy it is to actually put on. Uh, so what we do is we take this part off. And now you'll see that you don't have to take that top camera assembly off. You'll see this plate goes off. And underneath, there's going to be some protective plastic. Okay, your cable's already damaged. Uh, don't worry about it. Just just pull that off, and um, you know, expose the actual metal underneath. Now, all you do is the replacement. If you're going to buy a replacement flex cable only, which is just the cable, you just stick it down. Don't worry about this part, it's not important. Uh, and uh, ideally, I do recommend just buying the whole plate assembly from the link below and then just doing everything in reverse and I'll just show you how quick that is. Little hint, when you're putting it back, just make sure that this part's folded down and then you tuck that you line it up with the two metal parts there then you get the six screws on the side and if you manage to line it up like so it should be a five minute job maybe 10 minute job if you're going to take your time as stated look if you have an iPhone 6 or a 6 plus it has had an LCD replacement before once again there's a 99% chance that this is the fix for the error 53 code uh, took me a while to pinpoint I was reading a lot of forum posts and um, it seems a lot of technicians were honing in on the flex cable. Uh, I gave it a try and um, and it simply worked. Now, if this doesn't work, 
you're going to be one of the unlucky ones that has probably damaged the actual uh, fingerprint scanner, which is something that just can't be replaced at this stage from, from what Apple have said. Um, so you, you probably might be um, best off taking your, your device to Apple and seeing what they can do for you. But as you know, any type of third party repair previously taken out on your, um, on your device, uh, Apple does know and then it does void any type of uh, Apple Care support. So please be aware of that. We put this back. Now, another little secret. When putting this back on, make sure that you tuck your cable up past the little dot here. It's like a little plastic dot. And then you simply line everything up, click it in like it's a piece of Lego, and then put your plate on top. And there we go. Everything's assembled and we can just plug it in and uh, you know do everything pretty much in reverse. Now once you plug it in you're going to get the same uh, issue where it says plug into iTunes. Do that and do the restore and update. As you are aware restore and update does uh, wipe all your data but it already has been as you're pretty much halfway there already. So um once that's done, it should work. Uh, please like this video. If you need that part, look in the link below. And any questions, feel free to message, drop a comment below, and I'll definitely reply. Thanks, guys.